Hey, hey, Robin McIntyre here from Training with Passion. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're just going to talk about asking ourselves empowering questions. This has been an important lesson for me in my life. I still have to remind myself all the time to turn thoughts around, to get myself moving when I'm stuck. So a couple examples. Instead of saying to yourself, oh my gosh, I, I just don't have time to exercise, or I just don't, I just... I just don't have time to go grocery shopping for healthy food or I don't have the money for this. Instead of saying that, ask yourself, what do I need to do to make some more time to exercise? How can I move more just a little bit each day? What would it take to fit in grocery shopping and a little bit of food planning so I feel better? See how the difference is instead of just making a statement and you're, because our subconscious mind will believe whatever we tell it. So if we let it go to work instead by asking a question, our mind will just go searching for it. It just goes and searches because we're thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. So depending on how we think about it, it will do the work. So if we're asking ourselves a question looking for a good answer instead of making a negative statement, you won't believe what happens. It's, it's really cool. Okay, so the other thing, I have no idea where to start. Okay, that's, that's a pretty dead end, right? If you just make that statement, I have no idea where to start. As opposed to what one thing can I do today to just go in that direction of feeling better? Just one little tiny thing. Okay, so your mind will come up with it. Third one, I need so-and-so. I love this one. Okay, I do this, I do this a lot. Uh, I need so-and-so to tell me what to do or I need so-and-so to help me make a decision. How many times do we get tripped up thinking, oh, we have to wait on an answer from somebody? Well, between having some therapy and having great friends, mentors, and coaches in the past, I started playing this little game with myself when I'm really thinking I need to talk to somebody saying, okay, what would so-and-so tell me if I said to them right now, picked up the phone and said, hey, can you help me with this? What would their answer be? <laughs> Sometimes it's amazing what will come to your mind, okay, and how you can figure some stuff out. So anyway, those three tips, empowering yourself through our language and our thoughts. Here's a quote to close with from Earl Nightingale. It's whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition will one day become a reality. I love that. I believe that. And we can all create lots of great things in our, in our, in our own world if we start with here, our thoughts, and then our language. Have a good, great day. Thanks for tuning in. Robin McIntyre, you can find me at trainingwithpassion.fitness. Thanks so much. Take care of yourself.